Hi there, welcome to Kid Squid Studios where it all comes together. I am Kelly, and today we've got a lot of shooting to do. So, I got to spend a few hours in the yard yesterday. <laughs> These are the best shoes I own. These vines are serious, man. They grow up and around and inside of everything. It doesn't matter what it is. And they smell like ass. I call it ass vine. <laughs> it's a terrible name for a dating app. It was good, it was like three and a half hours of just being outside, getting fresh air. So I must have been a little overzealous with the axe wielding and threw out my lower back. I definitely feel better today. Spent the evening watching the 3% and I'll tell you what, that show's pretty damn good. I think it's a Brazilian show. There are a lot of great shows and great movies coming out of other countries right now. Clever Man, that was really fun out of Australia. So I found that if I don't start my day with guitar playing, I won't play guitar that day at all. But if I do start the day with guitar playing, I might actually play more than once in a day. <laughs> got the new sweet notes. I love getting these every couple of months. They're so much fun. So I recommend going to sweetwater.com and signing up for this free newsletter that comes every like two or three months or something like that. And it's got a bunch of really, really short articles that cover all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay, so I'm actually about to shoot a movie in this room, so I'm gonna go and leave you in here. I'm gonna go get a shower, change my clothes, put in contacts, stick my finger in my eye, and Okay, so I'm setting up to shoot an episode that will be coming up shortly. First thing we need is lights. So, we'll get back to you after we shoot this scene. Pooh, and install a compliant regime. Same as Guatemala? Yes, but you can double time it. We need a quorum to pick a new pope in case the Exxon Monsanto thing falls through in Africa. Why not use chemtrails? Put a canopy on Uganda. They're set to agitate any mo- What? That kid is watching us. So, we're squirrels. He's a kid. He's watching us like he hears what we're saying. Okay, so I finished shooting that episode. Turn this room off. Now I'm ready for a cup of coffee and a chill. So in order to shoot that episode, I had to mess with all of the gear and all the cables. So I do have to spend a little bit of time fixing all of that and getting all of the cables reconnected to the right machines. Waiting for it to boil. So every time mom finishes one of her art pieces, she brings it out here, lays down a tarp, and holds down the picture with all these rocks. 
And then she sprays it with a permanent fixative. In other words, she like it's a clear spray that you spray on your artwork so that way it doesn't smudge if you touch it. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this up and put it away for her. Okay, so my friend Cliff called. He is wanting a ride from somewhere to somewhere else. I don't know what happened to his car, but that's his business. But I don't mind giving somebody a ride real quick. Ain't no big deal. Put on your seatbelt. Hey, look how dirty I am. I worked my ass off today. So I got my boy Cliff back to his crib, safe and sound, and I'm coming home. Gonna do some of these dishes. Yvonne's gonna cook dinner tonight, which is great. I think she's making, so what are we having? Meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Sounds great. What kind of vegetable? Whatever's in the refrigerator, that's what I'm cooking. She's requiring the sink for a few minutes, and that will give us time to check social media and say hey, howdy to the world. <laughs> Okay, that's enough Instagram. Congrats. Jungle Book Mowgli. The babies. Oh, they are so cute. I did not know that you have to resize your photographs to post them on Instagram. I end up processing my pictures really, really large, mainly so that way I can post them on things like products and things like that. And when they make them into products, it's already a huge picture. So that way, if they need to make it bigger, it doesn't get all weird and pixelated. It's a real solid picture at any size. And even when you make it smaller, the more condensed and more crisp the picture looks. If you take one of the pictures that I had posted in that movie where I had done the Akumu clothing selfie shots, one of those pictures is 7,902 pixels by 4,445 pixels. It's right on the line, 29.8 megabytes. The largest file that you can upload onto Instagram is 30 megabytes. So like half of these pictures I couldn't even upload. So I went ahead and re-rendered them so that way they're at the appropriate size for Instagram. I'm learning slowly but surely. I'm working on it. So you can follow me over at Instagram if you'd like uh, to see some of the still shots and or photos that I upload over there. Like messing with the Wacom one is really, really fun. So, I've finished editing another picture. It's great. Uh, I need to get off my butt, though. I've been here for many hours. Uh, but that was a really fun session on the Wacom One. Working with the Wacom One is so much faster than working with a mouse. And it's a lot more fun, which means that you'll do the work more often because it's fun as opposed to being a pain in the ass. But yeah. If you guys want to see some of the photos that I've been editing and things like that, you can always follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and a lot of these are going on Instagram as well. Uh, so any of the three of those and you'll be able to see a lot of the photos that I take. Oh, I forgot the microphone. Sorry about that. I had done three pictures yesterday on the Wacom and today I got ten pictures done. You can really fly through the projects. I mean, you editing, you changing the hue, color curves, lightening and darkening, you do it with a pen, and it's just so much nicer than doing it with the mouse. And I know people are hating on the Wacom One out there on YouTube, and I get it. It's an entry-level piece of gear, and it's easy to pick on entry-level stuff. But guys, I always recommend doing the entry-level stuff first. Really, you know, instead of buying an expensive gimbal, or a glide cam or something like that, 
Learn how to gimbal with just a tripod. Gimbal yourself and run without letting any bounce happen. Here I'm using a cell phone on a gorilla pod, and I'm running next to the guy. I'm not on a skateboard. I'm actually just running full speed next to the guy and trying to gimbal myself. Figure out how to do it in three-dimensional space, just with your hands, so that you know what you want to tell the tripod to do. I don't know how I got onto this. Oh, the Wacom One. Sorry about that. So the Wacom One was really fun. You get to experiment and undo things very, very fast, and it doesn't feel like you're torturing yourself to experiment with the different stuff. Because after doing 10 pictures, I had to come up here and get some exercise because I had been sitting on my tuchus way too long. And now I'm gonna skate a bit. Okay, so now we're gonna work on mom's movie for a little while, and we've gotta get through that thing as quick as we can. Yvonne's been recording herself doing artwork uh, every moment that she's doing the artwork uh, in regular filming, as opposed to like a time lapse or something. And this would be fine if it was only about an hour to maybe two, which art YouTubers do that. They have like two hour postings where it's like a piece of artwork from beginning to end um, but her artwork usually takes her uh, anywhere from a week to a month maybe two and she's still recording every moment of the work oh my god we've got you know 50 gigabytes of this and 100 gigabytes of that you're going oh my god you know and then another 100 gigabytes and then another 100 gigabytes um, so We've had a discussion about that, and we've decided how she's going to start filming it from here on out. But when it comes to this last project that she did, I've got to come up with some creative way to jump us through all of the procedure and get us to the end and get a movie out there that's not literally 40 hours long. Because um, that would be impossible to upload, and I think YouTube would hunt me down and shoot me. So, we're going to hit that for a couple hours. I'm exhausted. My butt is asleep. I need to walk around again and do something else for a while. I actually got really far. She's actually almost about to put Bestel to the canvas. Uh, I can't tell you how many hours of footage this has been. I am going to add it all up at the very end. Okay. 